Hello, Angel Powers. Boom, boom, boom. This is Angelica Ortiz with Angelica and Powers and Rosenberg. And we are here live. live. And if you are live with us, type one in the comments. And if you are a replay because you don't see the red box in the corner, say, I mean, type, because <laughs> you can't really say it. But type, I miss you. Because we miss you. Thank you for tuning in. Feel free to share this video because sharing is caring and ask questions yes the information we're going to tell you today Ooh. is important and it can get to you at any point in your life you know uh we're talking about transitions here life transitions and there there are many of them you know it could be a, a, a loss of a role like in your job or in your family uh, it could be a loss of a person you know someone that you love a friend something like that or it could be the loss of a place, you know, we, uh, hurricanes have been happening this year quite a bit, uh, or people have lost their mortgages and things like that. So that can be a, a transition. Uh, or it could be like a loss of the sense of where you are in the world, like what, what your purpose is and things like that, you know. So, so there's a lot of transitions in life. That's what we're trying to say. But the one we want to focus on is since I recently transitioned into retirement life, leaving a job. Uh, is that one is what happens when you know something in your life uh, comes around and, and you want to say goodbye to that job to that organization that you've been working with um so so that's that's what we want to talk about um i'm going to share my experience if you know me personally you know i haven't worked that much in my life because i have entrepreneurship dna period does. period okay so when i was working at social services because i have a big heart i love to help people mm -hmm. i was working there but I, I didn't like the system i wanted to change so many things because i like to be fair so the system is not fair so when i worked there it was almost four years and it was so difficult to mm -hmm. say I can't do this anymore because I was thinking about the people that I was serving. I was thinking mm -hmm. about my community. I was like, but I know I'm doing a great job. I know I, I meet the deadlines. I know, I know all the rules because I find mistakes. I was correcting my coworkers. I was like, Hey, 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 Hey. And I was feeling so bad to say, I I'm going to quit. I I I'm going to move on to another place. Mm -hmm. But I took the decision and it was a relief and it was hard to find my place mm -hmm. to serve people. It took me a lot of years, yeah. but I'm here serving you as an Angelica Empowers. Now I'm serving you as a keto coach. Mm -hmm. I am serving you as a, uh, como se dice, influencer. Yeah. Like a life coach too. Aha. Uh -huh. So that was my my experience when I had to say it's enough. I love what I do, but I know I can do more for people. Yeah. And here's the thing. That was a three and a half year job. You know, three and a half years. She 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 was attached to it. Now imagine being attached to an organization, a company. Uh, a career for more than 15 years, even 10, 15 years, 20 years, 22 years in my case, it is difficult. So around the 20 year mark, uh, we were having some marital issues, uh, which was another transition, but it was involved. It had to do with, with, with the transition into civilian life. I was against really leaving the military because I mean, I had, I had a good, good thing going. And I could have done 40 years if I wanted to, but there was other things that were calling our, our, our name that were calling us to go and, and do something else. Uh, so we talked about it. We actually saw a psychologist yes. uh, told us that this is normal. This is part of life, life transitions life. Uh -huh. uh, that we were going to experience a range of negative feelings, you know, anger, anxiety, confusion, um, numbness, uh, self doubt and things like that. Uh, so, so, so that, that was going on. We had to talk a lot, but um, understand that you have to kind of forget a little bit about the past and look forward to the future. Look to what 
why you having this feeling of making this transition and explore that uh, go with that feeling and, and feel hopeful about about what's gonna happen you know yeah we might be in debt to that organization we might be in debt to um, you know the the way the, the people in that company the leaders uh, of that organization have treated us uh, maybe they, they they were the type of, of leaders that care about the employees and, and and develop them you know allow them to go to go to school pay maybe gave them a, a some tuition a way to go to school and improve their leadership styles or just get that degree that will even give them a chance outside of that company uh, mm -hmm. or even within that company to increase and and we feel like that like we owe them something and we want to mm -hmm. stay with them for, for for more and more time but but we have to learn to let go of that and, and, and really listen to our calling, listen to that future that's coming. So, um, also because you know we had parents, we had those people who raised us, and they they're old school. They say you need to be loyal. You need to be loyal yeah. to that company. You need to be in one particular job. If you change jobs. It means that you're not stable, that you're not loyal. People mm. are not going to trust you. People are going to say, but why you're here for three years? And then why two years there? But then when you say, <clears throat> I'm being with this company for 19 years, it's like, ooh. There's some sort of prestige uh -huh. and things like that. But for me, because I have that entrepreneurship DNA, I'm like, ooh, I don't like this company. It doesn't match with my values. It doesn't match with my yeah. vision. And then I move to another one. And then I move to another one. And if yeah. you had seen my history, you will say, Angelica, you don't like to work. Or you could say, Angelica, are you a millennial? <laughs> <laughs> so actually, <I'm> not. <laughs> she's not. But that's actually one of the reasons why millennials are having such a difficult time. You know? Um, it's hard for people to to stay in, in one job because there's so much other things that we can do um, and, and because of culture one there's a couple of things about culture culture has told you what you just said you know find a job stay with it and do it for 40 years and then retire but other side of culture is saying explore find your find your purpose find that calling and 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 it's difficult to fight with those both of those school of thoughts because because they're an opposite end, you know? But you do have to listen to to, to what your, your heart's saying, what your gut's telling you, and what you're able to do. We were just talking about this yesterday, that you have to explore your, your skills, what, what you are really good at, mm -hmm. you know, and, and expand on those. There's another school of thought about that, where people are saying you need to, you know, increase your weaknesses, make them better so that they could be, you know, all good, but no, the reality is that you should focus on your strengths and get those to get you to, to, to where you need to go, get you to where you are going to make that money uh, and then pay someone or, you know, collaborate with someone that has that weakness or that have a strength on the weaknesses that you have. So I want to say something. Uh, so this video was a calling for us to do it right now because we have a friend that he or she is having a difficult time mm -hmm. to make a decision. So it's a big group of friends saying quit, 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 quit that job. But in his or her mind is like, mm, I'm not ready yet. Mm -hmm. uh, but because we had to make that decision in our lives. Right. And for me, it was like, you know, the little job for almost four years okay it's not a big deal but then it's 22 years in service for the military you know taking care of the country you know fighting for your freedom and when you retire and there's a lot of retired people say mm -hmm. what do i do with my life like right. I, I can't retire yeah because i am not gonna find a fulfillment in another right. place or how can i transfer my skills i don't have any skills i was just you know, a military guy, I was just whatever you did in that position, or um, I don't have control, control, 
of, 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 of like I don't not leading this amount of people. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't have that anymore. So I so I'm losing that um, again, kind of prestige um, mm-hmm. that role. So it's, 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 it's difficult, but there's ways to cope, and uh, that's what we're trying to get at. And one more thing, like a lot of times people don't leave the job. Like in this in this case, it's a job like being an employer, but on the side is being an entrepreneur. Right. So it's like, what do I do? Do I stay, you know, working at my job, being an entrepreneur, or I quit my job and then I go full time with my entrepreneurship? Um, business but we think if I leave this job because this job is paying the bills because I know I will get a check every week or every two weeks how in the world you're gonna say you know you're gonna get the check something could happen and maybe your job will say thank you so much appreciate it um, I don't need you anymore, but you're being loyal to that company. How in the world you're gonna think they're never, ever, 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 ever gonna fire you, or that never, ever, ever, ever that business is gonna go out of business, mm-hmm. right? And number two, how in the world you're gonna say that because you have that money coming in is not gonna stop, even if you are an entrepreneur, even if you have your own business. Something could happen in your life. And we have a story from another friend that she was very successful in her florist business, working for elite people like Will Smith, the actor, okay? She was in his house and she lost her business and she was homeless. She lost everything in four months. So please don't get attached to a job. Don't get attached to a check mm-hmm. because it's not worth it. Yes. It's yes. not worth it. Yes. You, you have to become very self-aware. There's a lot of things that are included in, in what we're getting ready to teach the, uh, the, at the women's shelter and the, and the veterans shelter um, that help with identifying those values to becoming self-aware because it's very important to detach from material things, detach from 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 events, um, because change happens. You know, change is normal part of life, and we can't stop that. You know, you need to learn how to cope with that. And one of the ways you do that is by identifying really who you are, what you really value, and again, going back to the strengths and weaknesses, understanding those. Um, because it's gonna help you know who you are and how to express yourself. So I hope this, you know, our experience Mm -hmm. can help you to deal with these transitions. Uh, It could be a job, it could be a relationship, it could be moving to another country, Mm -hmm. but it's normal. Yeah. I think every single human being goes through those transitions and my advice is for you not to take forever mm-hmm. to make that decision. One more thing that I want to point out is, especially since, since I'm reading a book about born to win, is you have to, you have to plan, you have to make plans, but don't be too attached to them. Be flexible on the way you you execute that plan. Right? Uh, you also have to prepare yourself. You know, when you're making that plan, prepare the things. Uh, that, that you're about to do, uh, don't rush into making those things happen because you might not be ready for it, um, but but you but but it's gonna come, and focus on what that payoff is gonna be. All right, and I'm talking monetarily. I'm talking about like the time with your kids, time with your family, uh, time like, for you like to, not living with stress. Right, try time for you to to be present, to be healthy. Oh my God. Health is one of the things that we we got our eyes open to, you know, over a year ago um, with the lifestyle that we're going. Uh, we were focused on living life, travel, and things like that, but we weren't really focused on that on that health. And it really is. If you can't you can't have wealth without health. So 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 think about that. Expect to be uncomfortable. 
on anything that, that, that you're going through as far as changes, but but be optimistic, optimistic that, that the things are going to get well. Mm -hmm. so. For me, I don't have anything else. <laughs> anything else? <laughs> else? Yes. Uh, feel free to share everything you find on this social media. Feel free to share this video. Let us know if you're going through a transition and you want to share your thoughts, what's going on. Maybe you are in the same boat like we were, you know, a couple of years ago. Um, mm -hmm. And we expect more transitions in I, our lives. Actually, now that you mentioned, like we were, you know, a couple of years ago, is that you do have to find that support system. You know, we we are very blessed to have each other, uh, but we also have some friends and and, and 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 the person that is going through the 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 concern right now has a strong support system as well. So so, you know, lean into that, um, take it one step at a time, and uh, you you'll get through it. Okay, thank you for tuning in. This is Angelica Ortiz with Angelica Empowers and Rosenberg. Ciao, ciao. Bye. I love you, love you. Ciao. ciao.